Hello everyone. Welcome to the Conrad Tutorials class. In this video, we are going to introduce the basics of ImageJ programming and the interaction between ImageJ and Conrad. To begin with, it is very easy to open the ImageJ interface in Conrad. We can simply create a new ImageJ object by calling its default constructor. Image J. As we can see, the Image J interface appeared. In ij.ij class, there is a static member function called openImage that can be used to open an image. We simply need to provide the path of the image, and then we need to store the opened image as an image plus instance for later use. You can also display the opened image as shown in the code. We can execute image J commands in Conrad. For example, we can convert the original image to a binary one by calling the function run in the class ij.ij with the command convert to mask. In Conrad, we use the grid structure to store the images. So, before we can make use of the methods in Conrad, we first need to wrap an image plus instance to a grid2D instance. In order to do that, we need to call the static function wrapImagePlus in the class ImageUt. Since the return object has the type grid3D, we can use the function getSubgrid to obtain the only 2D grid with an index 0. And then we can display the image using its member function, show. We can also wrap the grid2d instance back to an image plus instance. This can be done by using the constructor provided by the image plus class, which has two input arguments. The, fir the first one specifies the title of the resulting window, 
while the second one is the buffered image, which can be created by first wrap the gratuity object to a flow processor, and then call the member function create image. Finally, we can save the image that is stored in an ImagePlus instance in any supported format, for example, TIFF.